All right, so I'm making this video because uh, I've learned something. I'm doing a dual y-axis. I read that it's much, uh, it's, it's more accurate as far as um, running the uh, y-axis. So to run the dual motor y-axis, I'm running them in parallel, and I'm just hooking up here. So I've basically wired the two motors here. Now, uh, one thing I, this is the first time I've ever tried to do um, in parallel, right? I, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, whatever. But um, one thing I found out is, is you, for one motor, if you're gonna, if you're gonna face them, like if they're looking in, into a mirror, if you will, right? One's looking into the mirror and the other one's facing the other one back. You've gotta wire one of them the opposite so that it turns the correct direction you know when the power gets sent to it so so I found this out uh, by uh, I started spinning one of these ends and this end before I had rewired it as you see here uh, would turn the opposite direction it's totally wild so so here I am I'm gonna turn this here and watch this one over here so you need to make sure that whatever you've got this wired up as uh, that when the motor, when you turn one side of the motor, the other side turns the correct direction. See what I'm saying? I hope you guys get that. I, it's kind of weird. So I'm, here's the other side. And maybe I'm ruining these motors. I'm not sure. I don't know if I hurt them by doing this, but I think it's kind of cool. You know? Anyway, so now they turn in the same direction. And all I gotta do is solder up this wire, mount my motors, and put my uh, x-axis on, and get my bed mounted, and hook up some motors. All right, hope you guys like that. Just showing you what I learned with my little experiment. Uh, just a heads up, uh, the this is my prototype Johnny Five. So um, I just had these laying around, and I I've been I don't know I I need I needed to use these things. Uh, supported rails, uh, they're 12 millimeter, freaking huge, they sit tall. Um, on the new setup, um, this is obviously my prototype. On my new setup, I'm going to do uh, THK guided rails um, mounted onto this um, 8020 extrusion. It's going to be much cleaner looking and smooth and accurate. Anyway, I hope to have this running tonight. We'll see. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Peace.